The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a Downey's Cruiser with an elevated level of fit and finish that speaks of a premium build. It's the Back Cove 32, and I'm going to do a full features inspection. Let's start our features inspection right here at the swim platform that comes out three feet from the transom. There's a reboarding ladder to the starboard side with a grab handle just above. Bringing a dinghy around, you've got cleats pop up four inches to both sides. Now we access the cockpit from a center mounted transom door. The latch is on the inside and it swings outward to give us our access. Just inside the door, if you come here after sunset, it's a switch to activate the courtesy lighting. If you're swimming, hot water shower so you can rinse off before you come in to the cockpit. Now this is all on a single level. I love that design feature. For seating, two corner mounted wraparound seats. We can put a filler cushion in and make it one continuous seat all the way across the transom. Tables are optional. This one, cherry with bird's eye maple on a fixed pedestal. I love the concept of the wraparound seating, but I'd like to see another cushion here for a seat back. And there's storage under both of these seats. And all of this can be under the protection of the extendable awning overhead. Now the main deck area is certainly inviting, open and airy, six foot, six inch overhead. Oh, and look at this overhead, padded upholstered panels. There's a light switch in the middle to control the dimmable LED lightings and cherry wood strips going in between the panels. And I also like the overhead grab handles. As for the features of this main deck, seating over on the port hand side, wrapping around another nicely finished table on a fixed pedestal. In this mode, the table is ideal for cocktails and entertaining. By taking out the center cushion along with the cabin side and raising up the table underneath, we instantly create a comfortable booth dining arrangement for four people. Drop the tabletops down, add some cushions, and we have a second berth that can be used in a pinch. As we continue forward, this seat is reversible so that we can have a double wide forward facing seat. So while we're underway, we can share the same view as the captain at the helm. There are two flip down footrests, and as far as ventilation is concerned, Opening side windows to both port and starboard, an overhead hatch plus an opening forward window to completely ventilate this main deck. The galley consists of a solid surface counter, stainless steel single basin sink with removable cover, and a pull-out sprayer. Just behind a double burner electric stove with the pop-up fiddles to hold the cookware in place. There's plenty of storage underneath. They latch into position and all the drawers have dovetail joinery just behind microwave, refrigeration is forward. Now before we get into the overnight accommodations, there's two points that really make this boat stand out and in my eye make it so much more appealing. First of which is, Back Cove didn't sacrifice the interior space so that they could have more accommodations, another cabin. There's one cabin on here for our cruising couple. Secondly, the mindset at Back Cove is to build a boat first and a cruising boat. So with that said, we need to maintain our narrow entry and good wave penetration by not carrying that beam so far forward that we lose that penetration. Instead, we've got the narrow entry and the beam is where we need it, back here in the entertainment area. So with those two features in mind, let's take a look at the overnight accommodations on the Back Cove 32. Looking down into the cabin, we see that the aft bulkhead is cherry and the back hove has also used lots of cherry wood to warm up this cabin and give a cozy feel. All of the cabinets, cubbies and lockers are lined in cherry as well. Here's the ship's main electrical system, 110 to one side, 12 volt to the other. Six feet, three inches of overhead clearance. The berth measures six feet, seven inches by five feet across. There's storage under the berth. Storage to the side in a closet with drawers and shelves underneath. Just ahead, book storage to the opposite side. There's a Fusion stereo here. Connectivity underneath as well as a 110 outlet. And here is a cedar hanging locker. And notice how this goes way back. Now as far as the head is concerned, over to one side, shower, walk in. There's an opening port light, a seat, and powered ventilation. To the opposite side is the water closet where we have a solid surface counter with a vessel sink on top, a mirrored bulkhead just behind. There's an opening port light, storage, electric flush toilet, and when this door is in the closed position, there's a skylight just above with frosted glass. So we bring natural light in as well as the artificial, and yes, there is a powered vent. 
So we've got comfortable overnight accommodations for two. We can add another two if you would like. And as for entertaining during the day, we can put a crowd on board. And that is my features inspection of the Back Cove 32. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.